Hey everybody, I'm Elena and today I'm going to bring to you my October favorites, the products that I've been reaching for the most and using the most throughout the month of October that it's already coming to an end. With it, the uh, year is already coming to an end. Where did 2017 go? Who knows? But without further ado, this month I will have to say that I've been using repeatedly, time and again, the same products. So if you want to see what my favorite products uh, have been throughout this month, please keep on watching. First things first, let's get this out of the way. Uh, this Clinique Even Better Glow Foundation from Clinique. Mine is in color Vanilla 70. This uh, is my perfect color. You know, I got super tan this summer, but I cannot use, for instance, my natural beige from Wet n Wild anymore because it's way too dark. And I got this foundation, which is perfect right now. I am wearing it today. I love the finish. I love the, the, the everything, the coverage. You know, it's not full coverage. It's medium coverage. I like how it gives a natural glow to your skin, nothing artificial or anything. And I have to say that I've been using, reaching for this every single day, like not even checking the other foundations, just going straight to Clinique. And I've been loving this. Next up, uh, I'm, you know, you can see this, I will have to place an order soon um, for this LA Girl Concealer. This one is in natural, which is the color that I've been using throughout this summer. I never managed to use it before because I never was so tan that I could use natural. I was using classic ivory, but... Finally, I got to use this one because I ordered it online and I never knew, you know, if it would be good or bad, match or not my skin. But lo and behold, it matched my skin finally. I've been loving this. I love the coverage, the price. There's nothing bad. You have heard it all over the internet. Now I'll sip a little bit of tea because <laughs> I'm thirsty. Next up, as you can see, this is something that I grab on a daily basis. Like, I kid you not, on a daily basis to set my under eye concealer, uh, I use this NYX HD in the color Banana. Uh, even though my skin is cool toned, it's not warm toned, this, this banana powder, the, as you can see, it doesn't look like anything on my skin. If so, if, if nothing, it betters the color of my skin. I... I mean, it speaks for itself, for, for itself, right? I, like, I hit pen and I am planning on repurchasing this. It's finally mailed, it's, a, it's pretty affordable, so there's that. Next up, I've been reaching for a lot uh, for a, con a concealer, sorry, uh, blush that I had neglected for the longest time. And this is the Pearlescent Pink from Wet n Wild. They say, I never had that one, but they say this is a dupe for NARS Orgasm. It's the one that I'm currently wearing right now on my face today. And I've been reaching for it day in, day out, and I love it to bits and pieces. The only thing, it has a ton of fall, fallout. I don't know, maybe the new formula, it's improved. I don't know about that because I still have to run through this. But if you tap off the excess, you're good to go, and it's really beautiful. Next up, uh, mascara-wise, two L'Oreal mascaras. This one that I recently hauled as well, which is the L'Oreal Paradise Ex Ecstatic Mascara. And this mascara I've been loving to bits and pieces. Which remember me that I had to use up this L'Oreal Voluminous that's been sitting on my drawer more often than not. Finally, this mascara, the Voluminous one, it started drying up, so the formula wasn't as wet. Hence, it doesn't transfer on my eyelids and whatnot because they are pretty hooded. So I can start using it. It's the one that I'm using today. I love it to bits and pieces. I have a new one, a fresh one, that I use with my clients. This is a staple mascara. But the Paradise one, it really curls a bit better my lashes. The formula, again, it's wet. It has this little bit of hourglass shape brush. The only thing the, that, I could, that I could say is that it's just 6.4 millimeters. And for instance, that CoverGirl um, Lash Blast is called the one that 
I have in the Max Factor one. It's double the amount, same price, but it really performs beautifully and I've been loving and using it a lot. Next up, when I haven't been using nude colors such as Velvet Teddy or Faux or Soft Spoken on my lips, I've been grabbing, you know, this darker uh, red, which is Cherry Skies from NYX, the liquid suede one, which is the one that I'm wearing today. I feel that this, for the summertime, it's a tad too dark, but we're gearing into fall, and this is a color that I can... Uh, pull off easily, comfortably, you know, it doesn't bother me as in the summertime where I feel like I w like to wear lighter colors, but for instance today in stereo, instead of ac having an accent on my eyes, a uh, wing, liner, anything just like that, I just went ahead and you you are carrying, you know, a pretty neutral look, say you go to the office, you go to work, uh, whatever, and then you wear a nude lip and you have to go out, you know, to have some drinks with your friends. All you have to do is wipe off the lipstick, you apply some rouge like this, Cherry Skies from the NYX, and this is six euros or less, and your look instantly put together, more sophisticated, and I love it, and I love how it whitens my teeth also. And last but not least, a new, uh, a rediscovered love of, love of mine that I have been neglecting for the longest time because I went into the warmer shades and whatnot. It's the Kat Von D Shade and Light Eye. You know my love for the chocolate bar, the original from Too Faced, but I decided to give it a go again at this. Not that I ever hated it, but you know I was into more colorful things, colorful things, but lately I've been more into neutral eyes and putting an accent on my lips, so this is awesome for an everyday basis and I, I'm wearing this today, for instance, and yeah, for today I'm wearing, actually I'm wearing this on the mobile lip and this one in here on the outer third and this to the brow bone area and to clean the corners and that's about it. It's an instant look in a palette, nothing new, but it's a rediscovered love of mine that I'm grabbing, you know, on a daily basis. And these are the products that I've been honestly wearing non-stop throughout this month. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, please make sure to give it a good thumbs up. Also, don't forget to click subscribe button down below, and leave a comment, let me know what you're thinking. Have a great day, see you in the next one.